what happens is really in professional cricket is that you start facing quicker and quicker bowlers and you start asking yourself as a batsman, can I be quicker? Can I get into position quicker? And that's why people use trigger movements. Um, there are some people who still stand still despite that. Okay, so one option is to stand still. The other option, people almost have a, almost a little rock. They almost have an energy in their feet. So they're not physically moving their foot. Um, but there's kind of energy in their feet which will allow them to move forward and back. So you can see there, there's almost a little bit of a rock in the feet uh, which will still allow them. So they're not, they're not moving around too much and their head is still, it still remains still, but they're almost having that energy in their feet which will allow them to move. Of course, uh, back in the 80s, perhaps it was more about back and across, going back with the back foot and then across. Um, but I'm not greatly keen on that because as you can see when I did it, my head starts to fall over going to the offside. So I'm not greatly keen on that. Um, the, the movement that I sort of developed really was back, but pretty much straight back, not really taking me a long way over. I knew where my off stump was, back and then, and then onto the ball of that front foot. So at the point of release, I want to be in an action position. And from there, it's only a small movement for me to get forward or to push back and transfer. So I've created a base where I can move athletically and I can get forward and back. So that's the, the sort of action position that I like. Having said that, you know, someone like Sachin Tendulkar or Ponting, they just had a small movement onto the ball of their front foot, keeping their head still and keeping their alignment and balance. So again, each individual has to work out through practice what works for them.